Good morning students. We learnt about short run equilibrium takes place when, as per the two aspects when aggregate demand becomes equal to aggregate supply or when saving becomes equal to investment. Today we learn about how the equilibrium shifts and what is the impact of additional investment in the economy. First let's understand about the impact of additional investment through this graph as flashed on your screens as uh, learnt earlier taking the uh, taking income on x axis and aggregate demand aggregate supply on y axis we see we have drawn a 45 degree line at every point of this 45 degree line income is equal to aggregate supply so we assume this line to be the line of aggregate supply now aggregate demand is equal to c plus i as per two sector model in a short run in a short run in case if additional investment is done it means we are taking that time period where producers are ready to invest more or they are ready to change their level of investment so in this case aggregate demand curve will move upwards depicting c plus i which was already with us and now considering change in investment also so aggregate demand curve shifts upward in case additional investment takes place due to additional investment aggregate demand function shifts upwards now see what is multiplier effect we'll understand this uh, easily in case if the investment is increased it will lead to increase in income but rate of increase in investment will always be less than rate of increase of income so income and investment are positively related to each other more investment more income less investment less income but rate of increase of investment is always less than the rate of investment rate of increase of income now let's understand what is the concept of multiplier multiplier is the ratio between change in output as you can see on your screens this is the ratio between change in output or income and change in investment or we can say number of times income increases due to change in investment that factor is called multiplier and is denoted by capital k so increase in output or income is many times more than the increase in investment and the factor by which the increase in output or income is greater than the increase in investment is called the investment multiplier in simple language we can say number of time the income increases due to change in investment or number of time income decreases due to change in investment that is called multiplier you can see this on as an illustration also in front of you k is denoted by change in y by change in i now k or multiplier is also related to marginal propensity to consume and we denote this as 1 upon 1 minus mpc we learned the derivation also how this 1 upon 1 minus mpc is uh, is obtained let's see this just see this pink box in front of you we have already learned that k is equal to change in y by change in i that is ratio between change in investment and change in income now entire income that is y we know either we consume or we spend the income this also you can see on your screens either we change uh, either we consume the income see this way y is equal to c plus s either we consume the income or we spend the income or we save the income now this saving as per the equilibrium we have already learned saving equals to investment in the equilibrium state so y is equal to c plus s or y is equal to c plus i it's one and the same thing therefore we can now write it as y is equal to c plus i because in the equilibrium i is equal to saving this can also be further written as change in y is equal to change in c plus change in i or change in i is equal to change in income minus change in consumption now <clears throat> substituting these values in the formula formula for k 
K was change in Y due to change in I. Now change in Y is written as it is. And change in I can be written as change in Y minus change in C. This way. Further, if we divide the numerator and denominator with change in Y. This way and this way. What do we obtain? Change in Y by change in Y equals to 1. Upon change in Y by change in Y equals to 1. Minus change in C by change in Y. That becomes equal to marginal propensity to consume. Since MPC or marginal propensity to consume is change in C by change in Y. This way we have two formulas with us. K equals to change in Y by change in I. Or K is equal to 1 upon 1 minus MPC. These are two formulas for calculating K. <coughs> also we know. 1 minus MPC is equal to MPS. So, third formula will become K is equal to 1 upon MPS. You will learn all these formulas. K is equal to 1 upon MPS or K is equal to 1 upon 1 minus MPC or K is equal to change in Y by change in I. These are the three ways to calculate multiplier that is K. Now, another thing is Change in investment if it takes place, it will lead to change in aggregate demand and change in income. Income is either consumed or it is saved. <coughs> I'll show you the impact of multiplier with the help of an example also. Let's see the example. Multiplier mechanism, how does it take place? For this, always remember this particular process. In change in investment will lead to change in income. Change in income will lead to change in consumption. Change in consumption means change in aggregate demand. And when aggregate demand changes, what happens? Again, there is change in investment. Then again, change in income and so on. This process goes on. It process continues. Now, in this example, we have assumed that marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.5. This is just an assumption. So, let's see one by one. In the first round, change in investment is 100 which leads to change in income of the equal amount. Now, this income is either spent or it is saved. Since we have assumed that marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.5, so we are consuming 50% of income and saving rest of the 50%. Now, in the next round, when change in consumption is 50, it means change in income is equal to 50. Out of this income, we either consume or we save. Since MPC is 0 0.5, therefore 25 crore of income is consumed and 25 crore is saved. Now this change in consumption will again lead to change in income that is 25 and in the next round this way it will go on reducing 50% in each round this way. <clears throat> so this is the multiplier effect which helps us to know on the last stage when uh, almost we have reached 0. What is happening? Due to change in investment of 100 crores, there is change in income of 200 crores. And therefore, multiplier is 2 here. When MPC is assumed to be 0 0.5. See, this way. This is the same example which we did. Change in income by change in investment. Change in income is 200 crores. Change in investment is 100 crores and multiplier is 2. This can also be solved using the different formula. K is equal to 1 upon 1 minus MPC. MPC is assumed to be 0 0.5. So, 1 upon 0 0.5 equals to 2. This is how we calculate the multiplier. Moreover, multiplier has two actions. One is called the forward action. One is called the backward action. Forward action means... Change in income due to change in investment which is positive. It means if we are increasing the investment, income will increase. This is called the forward action of multiplier. And backward action of multiplier is opposite to it. When there is decrease in income due to decrease in investment. So that is called the backward action of multiplier. This is the entire concept of multiplier which we discussed today in the class. Hope you all have understood. Now read, revise and learn the chapter thoroughly. 
uh, and solve the questions question number 9 to 19 of your uh, hots higher order thinking skills they are all numerical based questions and all these questions have to be done in your fair registers thank you all have a nice day